Rhymeville is now online. Hey guys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to set up a simple server using Node.js. Let's go! Alright, let's start things off. The first thing I want to do is visit Node.js. Node.js is an open source cross-platform JavaScript runtime. Basically, you can write back-end code with JavaScript. Alright, so here on the website, we have two choices of Node to download. One is a stable version, and the other is a current version. Okay, so assuming you've gone through the installation process, now we can get started. The first thing you want to do is to open CMD. We're going to use this later on, but for now, we're going to focus on File Explorer. In our documents, we're going to create a new folder, and we're just going to call it Simple Server. And this Simple Server is going to have all our server code and front-end code. Okay, so now in CMD, we want to go to our Simple Server. To do this, we type in CD Documents, and then CD Simple Server. And whatever path your Simple Server is in, it could be in your downloads, whatever, just make sure you add CD and then go to that path. Okay, so here we are in our Simple Server directory, and what we could do here is initialize our node. So we just type in npm init, and this is going to create a JSON package for us. And here we can enter a description, and here we have an entry point. An entry point is basically the back end of our code. Most people go with server or app. I normally pick server because it just sounds better. So I just change it to server.js, then hit enter, enter, and now we have an author. You can put in your name or your company, whatever, then hit enter. And now we can see our JSON package is finished. All right, so now all we gotta do is to open an IDE. This could be Atom, Visual Studio, Notepad. So all we gotta do is go to our file and hit open folder. And here we're gonna open our folder, which is our simple server. All right, so now you can see your package.json. And now let's go ahead and create our server.js. All right, so now we have our server.js and our package.json. So now the next step is to initialize a couple things. Here we're going to install Express. Express is basically a simple way of making servers. And now we're going to go to our simple server directory. And once we're in here, we can type in npm install express. It's that easy. Awesome, and now you can see your package.json has updated and it's added a new dependency, which is Express. Now the next step is to install Nodemon. Nodemon makes it easy to restart your server so you don't have to keep on typing node server.js each time. So let's go ahead and install it and we want to save it as a dev dependency. Alrighty, so now we're done installing that. You can see in our package.json, we now have a dev dependency and Nodemon's inside it. So initialize Nodemon and make it work. We need to go to the top where it says test. And below this, we type in start. And now we want to simply type in Nodemon server.js. All right, so let's get started with express. In our server.js, we want to type in const express. It's going to be equal to require express, which is a reference to our dependency and our package.json. So now, if you were to expand your folder or go to it in File Explorer, you should now see we have a couple new files we didn't add, which is node modules and package lock.json. And these are here because we imported express and node mod. Alrighty, so now we can say const app is equal to express, and then we can just put in brackets. So what this means is that const doesn't change, so our app is never gonna change. And it's gonna be equal to our express function. Okay, so now all we have to do to set up our server is go below this and type in app.listen. And here we're gonna take in two parameters. The first one is the port number in which we're gonna listen. Most people go with 3000, but I personally go with 69 because it's easy to write. And we're just gonna have a callback function. And this callback function basically says, whenever we're listening at port 69, do this. And what we're gonna do is just console.log server is up at port 69. You can type in whatever here, but this is just so we kinda know what's going on. 
All right, so now we're done with this. Assuming you installed NodeMon with me, remember you actually don't need it, it's just a preference. So you could just type in npm start and it should work. But if you did not, what you need to do is type in node and then server.js or whatever you called your file. And this is gonna start it. The problem with node is that whenever you make changes to your JS file, you have to restart the server. But with NodeMon, it automatically restarts the server so you don't have to worry about that. All right, so now you can see our server is up at 69. So if we will go to Chrome and type in localhost colon 69, hit enter. You should now see we get the best error of all time. We see cannot get slash. Congratulations, boys, <laughs> we've done it. Okay, so in order to fix this error, we go back and above our listen, we type in app.get and here we're gonna get our home page, which is just a slash because that's what it says we cannot get. And then we have a comma, and then here we have a callback function, just like previously, but this time we have a function which takes in two parameters. And this takes in a request and a response. A request is what the client sends to the server, and a response is what the server sends back to the client. And then in here we could say response.send. For now, we could just send in a simple text that just says yee. And if you have your NodeMon running, you should see your server has restarted because you hit Control S, or you just saved it. You should see, we see, yay! Right, you do not know how good this feels when you get to the stage, because this means you're like an actual programmer now. Like, you know, back end and front end, some of the best feelings ever. Congratulations, guys. All right, and now if we go back, you should see we're just getting the homepage now. What if you wanted like an about page, a contact page, or whatever page you need? So here you can just type in slash, and then we can just type in lollipop. And whenever we visit the slash lollipop, we're gonna get this response. And this is basically how <laughs> a server works. You request something, and if the server knows what you're requesting for, then it sends it back. Done. Okay, so this is good and all, but whenever we don't have a page, it says cannot get slash on whatever the page is. So below our home page, we want to type in app, and then instead of putting a slash, we want to put a start. Any other page we visit besides our home page, we just want to return this is not the home page. But most people would typically just say 404, page not found. Okay, so now we have the simple principle of how the server works. What if you wanted to send in a HTML page, like a normal server? Well, to do this, we type in send file, and here we could just put in the directory of the file we want to send. So we need to add a new module. This module is going to be called path, and it's going to be equal to require path. Don't worry, you don't need to install this. This comes with node and express, so we're good. In our send file, we want to type in path.join, and here we want to put two underscores dir name. That's the directory of our server.js. And then we want to add a comma. And then beside this, we want to type in slash HTML underscore files. This is normally called public or views, but because we're beginners, we're just going to say HTML files. Then we want to add a comma and just put it in index.html. Or whatever you want, you can say cookies.html or milk.html, it doesn't matter. As long as you create the file later on. And don't forget, you need a period before your slash, because this period means go up and then look for a slash HTML files. Nice. Okay, so with that done, let's actually create the files. So we want to right click on our simple server, create new folder. We just call this HTML underscore files, same thing as you did before. And then inside your files, you want to create an index.html. Once you created this, just go ahead and make a, a simple HTML file. Okay, so now if we go ahead and save everything we've done, go back to our local host, refresh, now you can see your index.html. Awesome! So if we hit Control shift i we should now see our index page being displayed, and we can see all our HTML code, which is perfect. And this is what a basic server does. When a client requests for a page, the server just sends it back.
And that's it. Today I showed you guys how to make a simple server using Node.js. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys can use this in your own projects. And until next time, rhyme below.